In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can scrape anyone's phone number or business email so you can reach out to them and sell them your products or services or just say what's up. And for context, if you don't know who I am, my name is Matt Lucero. I've scraped over a million B2B contacts and reached out to them via email. So I know a thing or two about data scraping. So hopefully by the end of this video, I can share some of that knowledge with you. So without further ado, let's dive straight in. Diving in and showing you how you can find anyone's work email or mobile phone number, super simple, super easily. The tool that we're gonna use to get this done is called clay.com and what clay basically is is it's like google sheets on steroids it allows you to plug in basically every other data provider into one sheet like table platform i'll show you what i mean here in a second so that you can use all the different data sources at once or five or ten of them at a time instead of manually going through one by one and the reason why you want to do this is because if you just take your data let's say you have 10 contacts you want to reach out to and you don't have their emails and you don't have their phone numbers and you plug them into one data tool that one data tool might only have five out of the ten people's emails or five out of the 10 people's phone numbers. And so now you have five people with emails, five people without emails, and you are kind of just left to throw away the five people that don't have emails. And so that really sucks. Or what you can do is get another subscription for another data tool and just rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat until hopefully you have all 10 of those people's emails before you give up. So that's one way of doing it. The way that we can do it through Clay here is basically do all of that in one process without having to have 10 different subscriptions and basically run it through a waterfall, which is taking it through one data platform, then another data platform, another, and only moving the next one onto the next step if they couldn't find the data. So I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. So first log into Clay, you can set up an account. I think they have a free trial on here and then you can press create new and then create new table. And so if you don't have the prospects, so let's say you're like, Hey Matt, I don't even have the people that I want to reach out to in the first place. Like you want to scrape new data. They have a bunch of scrapers here. So they have a Google map scraper. They have GitHub scrapers that you can import people from your CRM. You can scrape people from sales navigator. They have a bunch of different stuff here, but I'm going to assume that you already have people already because this is in a video on data scraping. So you're going to go ahead and find the people that you want to scrape and then press blank table, people table, and then you can upload it there, or you can upload the people that you have from the CSV here. So I have a list of 10 people here that we're just going to use as an example and go ahead and grab their phone numbers and grab their emails so that we can reach out to them. So we have these 10 people here. I have their first name, their last name, their company name, their website, their LinkedIn profile, and we want to get their data. So we're going to first go over into the top right here and press add enrichment. And then we're going to type work email. And it's going to pop up with Clay's waterfall. So this is what I was referring to. It goes to data provider one, grabs five emails that it can find and take the five people that it can't find and move it on to two. And from two, the three that it finds, it takes the other two and moves it on to the next stage. So it's basically just going data provider by data provider. And so we're going to press work email here. And then you can see this is how it works. It has six data providers preset in here. You can add more data providers if you want to get a better list or get more people. So we can add even more data providers. We can say, hey, we're just going to keep adding more in, or you can just leave to the default. You can set the order of the priority it wants to go in for these data providers. And you can see it asks for input data. So this is the data you need to feed it so that it can do what it wants to do. So let's say we're going to add Apollo in here. And you can see it gives these inputs. So company name, full name, personal email, or we can select that we want to do company domain, company name, and full name. So these are the inputs that's asking for. I and mean, so you can see we need the full name here. We don't have the full name here. So first we're going to make a column and I'm just going to merge and make another column call it first name. And so the way that you do this is press add column and then formula. And then you can ask AI inside of clay to generate a formula. So it adds them together. I know how to do in Google sheets. You just do like a concatenate thing and you could probably do it the same here in clay. But let's say I just want make one column with slash first name and slash last name together to make a full name column right? So I can prompt AI here. Hopefully it'll generate a formula here. The outputs look right. So I could press output is correct. And then you can see here, it just made a formula that just adds them together here. So now we have these 10 people's full names. We're going to go back here and go back to the enrichment section. We're going to type work email, and then I'm going to add another data provider in here. Let's add Apollo. And then let's add the company domain, company name, and full name. And the reason why I'm doing this is because your option is to either do this input or this input, and we don't have their personal emails to start. So we're going to use this. So you can see here, full name, company domain, company name, and then you you can have it validate the emails too as it passes through. We're going to have that checked because we want the emails that we reach out to to be validated through zero bounds. And then we can press save and run. And so now what it's going to do is add a bunch of different columns of basically calling all these different providers and saying, hey, find this person's info, find this person's info. If it doesn't have it, it goes on to the next person, find this person's info. And so you can see as it runs here, we already have a few hits. So out of this first column, this data provider here, Prospio, we have one, two, three, four, five, six emails found. And this one's still queued. And so you can see for the ones that it didn't find, it's going on to the next provider, drop contact. Didn't find emails here. Now it's gonna go on to the next provider. 
It's gonna go through find email, detagma, hunter, and then all these other ones. And then you can see here in this last column, it shows their validated work email. So the people that it could find, it has their emails here. And so we're gonna wait for this to load. And then I'll come back whenever this finished loading between all these different data providers. All right, so it just finished loading. And as I said here, we found 100% of these people's emails. So this isn't guaranteed or necessarily able to be done at scale because you know you might just plug in random data here or your data might not be formatted properly and no data provider might have it. But this is the best chance that you can get all the data. And in this case, we scraped 10 rows and we got 10 different emails from these 10 different people. So you can see exactly how it worked here. So first it went to Prospio, it found six or so emails. Then it went to Drop Contact, found nothing. It went to Find Email, Find Email found another email here, went through three other data providers and then it went to Apollo and Apollo was able to find the last three. So we could do this really efficiently instead of having to go and pay seven different subscriptions, plug the data into seven different tools. We have all their emails here in one clean place. And now we can go and export these and reach out to them over email or add them to your CRM or do whatever you want. So that's how we do it with the emails, doing it with phone numbers, almost the exact same process. So we're going to go press add enrichment here. We're going to press phone number. And then you can see here, mobile phone number and similar thing. We're going to configure a new provider. So you can see here, it has the exact same setup. So a bunch of different providers here, it goes through all these different providers and tries to find their phone number. And the input data here is their LinkedIn profile. And so we can add another provider. I'm going to add Apollo in here. I have an Apollo API key. And so I'm just going to plug it in and you can see it has all this different data that we have to work with. And it's going to plug it through all these different providers to find their phone numbers. And so you can set the priorities. So you can see Detagma here uses 25 credits. Maybe we want to push this to the end because they charge more. Same with contact out. Maybe we want to push Apollo up to the front because I have an API key and I'm paying for it already for my own campaigns. So I'm going to push that up to the front. And then same thing, we can press save, save and run 10 rows. And then we're going to let this run and the exact same situation is going to happen. It's going to grab their data from one data provider, move on to the next one that it couldn't find, move on to the next one it couldn't find and keep going down and down and down the process here. So after a couple of seconds here, you can see this one loaded a lot faster. And I think that's because some of our Apollo data was already shared with the um, last column we just went through. But you can see here, we already have nine out of the 10 different phone numbers of all these people. And you can see the last one was just found. So same situation, we had 10 people, we found all 10 of their emails and all 10 of their phone numbers. That's 100% hit rate. And that's really only possible if you pass it through a bunch of different data providers. Forger found another phone number here, then it went through Nimbler. Nimbler couldn't find any, Lead Magic found one, and then Contact Out found one. And now we have all 10 phone numbers. So super simple process. And then the best part about all this too, is if you want to do this again, you know, you watch this video, you spent five minutes, you set up this table. Now, all if you want to do is find more people's emails and phone numbers, you can just add a new row and plug the data in and all this stuff is already saved. You don't even have to press run. Once you add the data in, it'll run through all the stuff here at the end. And then if we want to make this clean, so what I'm going to go ahead of here and do is I'm going to get rid of some of the columns. So I'm going to tick off this find, like basically all these enrichment columns where it's showing what's happening. I'm going to get rid of all of these. And we're just going to keep the data that we want, which is like the mobile phone number and the email at the end of it. Just like that, we have a nice clean list, first name, last name, company name, domain, LinkedIn profile, their full name, because we needed that. And then their validated work email and their validated mobile phone number. I'm not sure how it validates it through these platforms. So that's basically all you have to do. So that wraps up this video. And then yeah, if you want to uh, do this, all you have to do is set up one quick play table. All right, so that wraps up this video. If you want to see other videos on how to scrape leads, how to send emails, how to prospect, how to get people to book sales calls with you, check the other videos on this channel. If you want to sign up to my newsletter, I have a link in the description. It has a free cold email masterclass and a bunch of other free stuff attached to it. And then if you want to work with me, we are a lead generation agency or I run a lead generation agency. So you can press one of the first links down in the description below an Evo marketing. We do email outreach. And so if that's something that you need help with, if you run a B2B company and you need help with that, you can check one of the links in the description below. So appreciate you guys a ton and I'll see you in the next video.